right, we're live. Um, maybe I should probably pull up my chat so I know what I'm doing. There we go. New Cassette Beast gameplay that came out last week. I'm going to be checking it out, reacting to it. It's over an hour long, so we got some stuff to do. Also, before you all say it, I'm not sick. I just woke up. Because <laughs> those two oftentimes are synonymous with each other. I got, I got a raspy morning voice. What is up, Takumi? How you doing? Aura, how you doing? Uh, I haven't watched this yet. All I did was uh, kind of skim through looking for a good thumbnail picture, but I haven't actually watched any of this. So, uh, yeah, we're going to be doing that and um, having a good old time with it. Good, I guess. Yeah, I feel you, man. So I guess I'm good. Protect your digital life. No. <laughs> Remind me later. <laughs> All right, uh, we're just going to jump into it, and uh, when people roll in, they roll in. Y you know how YouTube be. YouTube is going to be like, oh, I'll, I'll send out those notifications in 10 minutes. Um, yeah, so so this is basically uh, the two lead developers playing the game together. Uh, I'm not talking to them. I'm not playing. Uh, we're just reacting. Uh, so, yeah, m maybe I should... Um... Hello, everybody. I don't know why why it's doing that. Hold on. Maybe I should just have this in theater mode so when people pop in, they know that I'm not just... Um, what is this? Okay, so... There. Okay. So people know that I'm not I'm not actually playing it. Because I always get that question whenever I do stuff like this. So, yeah. Okay. Can you can you not? Why, why does this thing have to give me pop-ups and stuff? Like, stop it. Okay. All right. Let's, let's jump in. Studio? Or is it by... Let me know if you guys can hear okay. I'm, I might have to turn it up. <clears throat> They're a little bit quiet. Um, so if you joined us earlier in the year, I believe it was in May, we did a dev stream and it showed off uh, the opening like uh, hour or so of the game. And today we're going to play a little bit past that, um, just to kind of show off some new stuff. So they're basically um, playing past the demo. No, it's December. It's the season of giving. What's up, Raph? How you doing? Right. Let's let's open. I need to use the control here. Control the uh, uh kind of switchy thing. Yeah. So all right. I could turn this up a you little bit. You may notice that both of Let us me know if that's okay. Us. Um <coughs> we managed to get the uh local multiplayer setup working for this uh for this stream. Oh yeah, I just noticed that. that they're playing local multiplayer. Fun. Awesome. Um, so I guess we could probably intro where we are in the game. Um, if you've played the demo, um, which essentially covers what we streamed last time, you know, the game opens, um, you get introduced to the world of Cassette Beasts, uh, you fuse with Kaylee, um, and you get set off on the rest of the kind of quest line of, you know, you know finding a way off the island of New World. Um, and we thought it would be fun to kind of show off how the game opens up a bit after that because yes um, this is an open world game uh the demo is like quite you know quite tight in terms of controlling what you uh where you can go in the demo because you know you've got tutorializing so we thought we'd have some fun just uh, kind of exploring and kind of being a bit open and there's some points where we'll ask uh you lovely folks in chat um where we should go next or what order we should do some stuff um so let's get going all right There's a little market stall which wasn't here last time. Yeah, this is the sticker merchants. Um, this area is notably absent in the demo, or as to say, the merchants aren't there yet. Um, you know, after the prologue. Sound? Is it too? Can area. you not hear it? Is it too low? Should I see where the guys are from? Yeah. So these guys rotate the stock. It, on my end, it's showing. It's showing that it's playing. But let me let me know if it's too low, guys. We can't afford anything. 
It's cool that they have a sticker merchant. That's going to be helpful. The other guy's a little low. Oh, well, I mean, hold on. Here. I, I can turn them up, but the other the other guys aren't actually here. This is just a video. <laughs> when are you going to play Evo Creo? When Evo Creo 2 gets announced. Like, actually. Like, when we actually get a release date. I'll, I'll play it leading up to it. When was this announced? I'm not too late. Um... When was this announced? Because Beast comes out in 2023. These are some really powerful moves. Especially this one. I just started streaming like five minutes ago. No, 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 it's not as powerful as Incinerate. No, 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 no. We're just reacting to a YouTube video. Accuracy This is an hour of brand new gameplay. So I was like, all right, like, let's check it out. I can barely hear you. Sounds like 90% lower than the last YouTube source. Yep, we'll have to. You can barely hear me? I'm quiet? Really? Okay, do I sound okay in comparison now? Can you turn it up, please? I, I got... I, okay, okay. I, I got it. Can, uh, They're quiet. Like, I, I got them all the way up, pretty much. Like, this is the best I can do for them. Uh, but you, can you guys hear me okay? Because I got them okay, turned, like, all out. the way so, up. Um, They're just really quiet. The quest we have. Like, see? So, land all the way up, all the way up on my OBS. Uh, uh, broader kind of, uh, also, must, also a lot lower than your other videos. Um, must be recorded versus again, a live stream thing. I, I don't know if it's that, Hello? but, uh, like, I got my mic. My mic should be the same. Yeah, it's the same settings. They're just quiet as hell. That I can't help. They're really quiet. The leader of the rangers is in the park. Um, we should go and meet them and you know gives you instruction to uh, gives you like a yeah, I can barely hear you it's like 90% uh, lower than your other yeah, yeah I, I don't know why that would be and we also have this one uh, Eugene is a character we meet at the end of the uh, demo and I can turn the mic up a little bit so we end the demo by kind of throwing a bunch of questions is that better saying, uh, I just I just don't want to be too loud to where it starts like crackling like or anything and do things in what yeah this game looks dope this game's got we just got this game's got a lot of uh, really cool like aspects to it. It's not just uh, a Pokemon like. There's so many aspects Someone to it asked, that make it completely um, different from Pokemon. Are there any skeleton looking cassette beasts? Oh boy, there are only <laughs> skeleton looking cassette beasts. Um, no, I have a penchant. Uh, so I designed most of the uh, cassette beasts in cassette beasts. Uh, and I do like putting skulls or like skeleton motifs. So it's a bit of a running joke actually that there are too many skeleton motif monsters in cassette beasts. Um, uh, yeah. Okay. Um, this is like a boxing gym. We can come back here later. I don't think we should. Yeah. Well, it's just a cafe, though. We can come back. Yeah, there's something cool to show off later on. I remember now. Yes. Excellent. You guys wanna? You guys wanna skip ahead a little bit to when they get into the field? Let's do that. Use that sticker on any tape that it works with. Um, and obviously there are restrictions, so not every monster can use every type. Sometimes you might have to have, you know, some, you know, physical kind the of. The demo always stops after the vampire scene. This that, is uh, the, this is what happens that after that. To also match up with the tape. So a move like sticky tongue requires a monster to have big tongue. Um, they made so a good point though. The fact that people want to play cassette piece a lot after that scene and like like they're upset that they can't play more, that just shows how good the game is. <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm carrying a barrel. Why are we carrying barrels? <laughs> it's because barrels are fun. You can place down platforms. Steady, steady. Uh, can I jump over there again? No, I can't. I think we can use the barrel to get back up on the wall. We could use the barrel to get back up on the wall. Um, if you remember this from the demo, we can go this way, I suppose. There's um, that little bridge bit, which is quite cute. Um, this bit is where you um, first get the glide ability, and there's one of the little open kind of uh, areas. Um, in the demo, Kaylee will so cruelly prevent you from going further. Um, I'm still carrying the barrel. <laughs> uh, look at I like that the barrel actually has physics. Okay, so now. Here we are in New World Park. Like if you're playing like Minish Cap kind of or like a like a two D Zelda game, a lot of, you can just uh, pick it up World. and put it down, right? Um, like there's you can actually like where, crash into it. Like, a lot of areas connect through here, so you'll be coming through here like a bunch, and it's kind of a big area with lots of things to do and see. Oh, by the way, since you're live, I just wanted to say I love your channel, and uh, I'm super enjoying Drake's Hey, thank you. 
I actually just recorded another like six episodes last night. You guys might have noticed uh, yesterday's episode didn't have a thumbnail properly set up. I set that up, but I, I forgot to... I made the thumbnail, but I forgot to attach it. It's a little bit of sleep deprivation for you guys. <clears throat> hey, you, you boys aren't normally bold enough to venture this close to our outpost. Why don't you get out of here while this conversation remains civil? You ain't moving, huh? Guess I got my hands dirty then. Is this one of those gods? Oh, it's not. Yo, look at that thing. That thing's dope. The gear thing? Got some uh, tutorials while we're there. Okay, whoever they are, they just, uh... <laughs> I love how the characters we don't know are called things like confident woman or angry guy. <laughs> I like that too. Okay, so that's, um, I guess this is kind of a crossroads here. So if you look on our quest log, we have Take Me On, going up to the outpost, um, to sign up for the Rangers. Yeah, I'm is, also, uh, I've also been working on a tips and tricks video for it. That. And uh, I, I put a how to get OP uh, early video. I put that together too. To I, I don't know if that's already out. Yeah. I gotta check. My question it's is, been, it's been a really chat, long week for me, guys. Which one do you do first? Because, you know, it's an open world game. Off topic question, would you consider doing a full playthrough of that Digimon game from Japan? The one translated a couple weeks back? I might think about it. Full playthroughs are something that, that I have to really, really like like commit to because there's so many episodes to them uh it could be something that we could like do a few streams of that would like string together to make a full playthrough but i'm not sure if i want to do like or if i want to commit to like 30 episodes you know what i mean you can also fast travel to escape battle if you're too slow to i might <laughs> if anything i might play it on my own though we'll, we'll see like, like like perhaps um when there's like because usually i relegate my playthrough to like stuff that just comes out so perhaps if we have like a significant gap or something then i might do it um, it's important to me. Maybe that in January. We could like we can maybe do something like that in January. That could actually work out. Gets, you know, uh, have they given any them? indication of how many so monsters? I I, I, it's it's over a hundred. I know that. I have a. Every time I wake up, I have a cough. It goes away by like, like in like two hours after I wake up. I think it's like 113, but then they can all fuse, so it creates like 10,000 combinations or something like that. Save the merchant. We have two. We have two likes and save the merchant. Do you want to do save the merchant? Looking yeah. forward to Lumintel. Yes. Might be Friday's the direct, save. guys. I still got. I, I still got editing to do on my end, but like I've got every submission okay. pretty yeah. much. So I'm excited to put it all together. Oh, you've been seen by a snake. Oh, no. No. oh I just <laughs> ran into a. <laughs> I ran into a moth by accident. Okay. The soundtrack is great. I love it. Okay, let's see what this guy says. Yeah, the one you're just taking out. My biggest fear when it comes to cassette beasts is like th the okay. So you know you know how when a game's coming out, a lot of people will have a few concerns. My biggest concerns with, with cassette beasts is after cassette beasts, will they make a cassette beast okay. two or will they move yes. on? That's my big <laughs> like it's not even about the game, it's like Will they keep making cassette beast games? That's the question. Right, because our first game is the Zelda like. This is a kind of like a, a monster tamer. So I'm wondering if they're gonna stay in the monster taming scene or if they're gonna move on. There's four switches here. Uh, we don't have a date, but it's coming out in 2023. Fortunately, we have a barrel with us. As soon as there's a release date, I'll make a video about it. This is cheating. It's legit, I think. Oh, there's a snake. <laughs> MP3 beasts, yes. CD beasts and then MP. Uh, I was making a joke that disc creatures is uh, is uh, the sequel to cassette beasts. Yeah, it definitely has. I've noticed that with some games, right? Like I, I, I I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna toot my horn a little bit, but I feel like I have an eye for like good games, because um, like Coralmon was super small when I cut when I first covered it too, and I was small too, but I'm, but I'm just saying like. A, a lot of the games that like when I first see them, I'm like, oh, this game looks sick. Like, 
a lot of them end up getting more more traction and i think it's not be it's not like like, like it's it's not because i covered it or anything like that it's just i, I can kind of see like if a game looks good it's gonna get coverage right like like that's not always the rule like not every game that's good is necessarily gonna get um more popular but like in general it's like a general rule where if there's a really good monster taming game people are gonna gravitate towards it and i think like i do a pretty good job of like seeing a game be like yo this game's sick and then it ends up more a lot of people agree with that like lumentail lumentail isn't massive yet but it's, it's already gained so much traction and, and like yeah because it looks sick <laughs> a mondar yeah <laughs> This game, oh yeah, I already read, I just read that. Eight track beasts, yes. Record beasts. Laser disc beasts. <laughs> Pirate bay beasts. That'll be the next one, you know? <laughs> well, they already have bootlegs in this game, so there you go. <laughs> Our streaming service beasts. Oh, oh, NFC beasts. You know the the cards the, that you use for Monster Rancher. Yeah. All four switches, nothing here. Should we rest up before we go in? Go in the di go in. <laughs> go in the underground. Laser discs are hardy beasts. Fair enough. Great. Thank you very much. There's a lot of attacks in this game. I quite like this scene here. Um, because obviously the uh, camera angle changes with the uh, camping scene. And I quite like how it's framed. Hey, what's up, Raffle? How you doing, man? Broken tents have been repaired. It's now the following day. I don't think we have anything in tape storage right now. Do we know when it officially drops? Unfortunately, we don't, but as soon as there is information, I will keep you guys updated. I, I'm probably going to end up getting this one on Switch. I think it would be a good portable game. That's one thing I will say about the Switch is, like, as much as its its, it's power sucks, like, it is good for, like, these types of pixel art uh, indie games that you want to kind of, that don't require a lot of power, because it's nice to have them portable. I mean, I personally really loved my PS Vita. I wish they kept supporting, like, handheld PlayStation consoles, but... The Switch will have to do. I felt the Vita was nice because I could just throw it in my pocket. Right? Switch is a little too big. Even the Switch Lite's a little too big. I, I, I like the Vita. I thought that was like a perfect handheld size. Or the DS, right? But the Vita had a bigger screen. Will this release on my PS Vita? I wish, bro. Trust me. I like how chill this game is. Yeah, it, it, it's cool too. Like, I think pixel art open world games are more interesting than 3D open world games, in my opinion. Because generally speaking, the pixel art games have a lot more like condensed stuff. So it's not like you're just running around for hours looking for something. Like you're, everything's so condensed. I, I like it. Something to do on like every every like every section. I hope there's another Nintendo handheld in the DS family or something similar. Yeah, the the Switch yeah, kind of... Yeah. Uh, I think what happened was the Wii U did so terrible, but the 3DS still did so good that they were like, all right, you know what? We're going to try to, like, um, merge the two so that we can, you know... Oh, <laughs> he died. Merge the two so that they can, like, kind of bring over the sales. But uh, unfortunately, what that did was it... Uh, it got rid of the 3ds completely, which I, I mean, I, I liked. I liked the Both split between the two. I just felt like they they needed to stop the, with the, the gimmicks on the home the consoles, like <laughs> making a giant tablet was you know an interesting idea, but they didn't even utilize it that well. Like they should have had. You guys remember? Um, uh, some speculate that Sony will make another handheld. I hope so. We'll get aggro if they just do you guys do you guys remember um so you can actually kind of figure out certain monster behavior on the gamecube you could play game boy advance games if you got the attachment you wanna, uh, deal with five. there's no reason they couldn't have done that with the wii u and the ds 
right? Like you could have used the 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 gamepad as like the bottom screen, and you could have used the TV as the top screen. That would have been cool. It's Squirey, which is the the initial stage of what can eventually evolve into Arglin. This area is so cool. I like the void. Look at the void, man, and the creepy music. Who's that in the swimming pool? You over there, monster dummy corner? Would you give me a hand? No. You could give him a hand. You could. Um, hang on. Let me just. Uh, I wonder if a defensive measure here. Might be yeah, I had that Game Boy player. It was awesome. Yes. And also, the people want to see Pom Bomb. So. This is co-op. Yeah, they have co-op, man. I, I I don't know if it's if you can do online or if it's just local co-op, but either way, it's pretty cool. <clears throat> I can't wait for my kids to get a little bit older so I could I could do co-op and stuff with them. Yeah, that sounds good. That sounds like a plan. Nope, this guy is could not quite reach us. <laughs> ah, it's thirsty. Oh no, the fuse. Oh, they fused oh. help. Okay. Rogue Fusion. This monster, this monster is what the range is called of Rogue, Rogue Fusion. Fusion. Sometimes they hide inside chests found, found underground caves. Battling, Battling Rogue Fusions can be a great way to earn valuable items and experience, and experience points, as well as find rare certain well monsters. Certain but note monsters. that they've always got a lot no, more dangerous. Uh, okay, they're, they're always more dangerous. Okay. Certain Rogue Fusions surround <laughs> I guess he's reading it for us. If you're not certain of your combat abilities, or you're exploring somewhere new, it's best to leave them alone. Fair enough. Of course, we gotta take it on. Alright, magnet. So our attacks are immediately being drawn towards the. Uh, it would be neat if they uh, made a more powerful switch or went back to the DS uh, XL and improved yeah, it. Yeah, like I'm, I, I thought, like like a DS XL with like you know 720p instead of 480 or whatever. Like I thought that would have been cool. There you go. Uh, but. Melted. Metal types can be melted with fire type attacks, which causes... Uh, one thing I will say is, at least with stuff so on again, Switch, it's uh, way uh, easier to stream it. Awesome not that Nintendo uh, makes it easier, attacks. but at least you can get an Elgato. Like, with the... I, I, I don't understand Nintendo's thing about, like, streaming their games. Like, so you might have seen this they, they make it so difficult if you don't have a capture card, whereas with, like, PlayStation and uh, Xbox, you could literally just press a button and save gameplay. So... Shield of three, essentially, um, it absorbs three hits, but if it's like a, you know, a fire type, um, then it would immediately get destroyed. So, uh, I think it's leeched. Yeah, leech. Uh, Leeched status. It's true, it's true. Um, Characters with contact damage deal a little bit of elemental right, whenever they right, land or receive a melee deal. attack. A okay. Whenever they land or receive a melee attack. So it's starting to make this like a bit more annoying to deal with. We're doing some good damage with the fire there. Damn, yeah, he's got like four statuses on. Opponents are healed by the amount of health taken. Yeah, so burn stack. So, um, you know, if you apply burn multiple times, the actual time will last longer and the longer it will be before it wears off. Oh, okay, so there's stacks. Okay, interesting. So you can oh, keep man, stacking that's... statuses. <laughs> the second hit, yeah, the uh, the stacking of the leech and the burn means it's starting to do some damage as well, which is nice. Let's I think we'll get him. Let's see. You can see at the bottom their fusion meter is going up too. It's not over <laughs> because again, if you you know fused monsters, um, they are made of two monsters. When you break the fusion, those two monsters, you know. Oh, now they're getting three v one. Dang. So, if we're not out the woods just yet. It might have been more challenging as well. Let's see. Um, I'll stick a leech on and then I've got backup tape, so let's go for the. For Steam Deck just launched uh, these week in, this week in Japan, Korea, Hong Kong, and Taiwan. First reactions are very positive. Oh, that's cool. 
the Steam Deck's cool. I, I I mean, I don't use it as much as I, I as I would like to, just because I don't have that much use for a portable console, uh, just because my job. But um, you know, it's pretty cool. Honestly, I've been using it for ROM hacks, like or not ROM hacks, sorry, for like ROMs and stuff. <laughs> like I have like emulators for every system on there. Yes. The middle Last thing I was playing was uh, Wind Waker. Oh, no. Okay. He's uh, taking the attack. Okay. That's fine. Down one take. Just put a cut of all into South Floor. Yes! As you can see, they're like a, box, like a boxing uh, style monster. Damn, Kayla has better, has, or Kaylee, it's or however you say her name, she's got better defense than her monster. Uh, <laughs> So the bootleg, do they? Uh, do you hunt them in nature, uh, or make them by attacking? No, I, I believe you. You can just find them. Uh, I made a whole video. I, I mean, I can't even remember at this point. I made a whole video about them. Yeah, you just find them in the wild. Uh, me and Barry made a video about them a while back. Nice. Um, I think it's just called Cassette B Shiny System Explained or something. But the bootlegs can be any type. <laughs> And they have, uh, like, they're very interesting. They could be any type, and they have a uh, randomly generated move set. Okay. So, like, it gets kind of crazy. Hope the deck gets launched in Brazil. I came in here looking for some sticker ideas, but I ended up getting more than I bargained for. Yeah, the more so places, the uh, the better. Uh, did you notice Southpaw's, uh, move battle. magnet activate? Oh, I missed it. I think it. I got my inspiration after all. Come see me at the market back in town. I'll have some special sticks for you. Quest complete. Great. You imagine if he just jumped off? He's like, ah, oh, my uh, neck! Um, head back to the town as well. <laughs> oh, what's up with that boulder? Try and avoid some fights. Oh, there's a chest that we just got. You know what? Let's just leave it. <laughs> <laughs> Should we uh, fast travel back? In this yeah, the cool thing about this game is there's a whole underground network that connects. So that boulder probably connects to more of the network. Fast travel tutorial. Yeah. Hey. Hey, I never asked you how you're finding that first monster form we gave you back on the beach when we first met. It was Banshee, right? That's a pretty cute monster form. When I've used it in the past, I have to get used to the weird sensation of floating. But when I had those big hooves, I felt like I could smack monsters pretty well with those. It takes some time. Ed, can you slow down the video if you can't read fast enough? I, I mean, it seems to me that you've been doing. When the video is done, you can you can always uh, you can always yeah, just uh, what do you call it? Transforming into monsters. Like I mean, he's reading it out. Like when the video is done, you can always replay it at slow speed. Like if something if they say something important, I'll slow it down. Otherwise, if I put this on like 0 0.75 speed, like we're gonna be here forever. This is over an hour long. Because <laughs> when I was playing the demo, I burnt a traffic crab and it turned into a poison type. Oh yeah, yeah, that's not that's not a bootleg form. That's just uh, transmutation. Yeah, sounds good. So when certain monsters are hit by certain types, they change types yeah, for the duration so, uh, of the battle. <coughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. Don't underestimate passive moves, my friend. Yeah, take a look at my sticker selection for the day. Once again, we have. These are like this game's version of move tutors. Used automatically at the start of battle to zero AP. Gives the user multi-target status for three turns. That's very good. Um, last time I back on time. Burning. Hand. No, I'm not sick. I just every morning I wake up, I have a cough. Melee attack whenever the user at least I hope I'm not sick. <laughs> so you know, we were burning the enemy earlier. I don't think I'm sick. Um, to win that fight, but there are actual new moves that can kind of counter that, or you can use to counter anyone, you know, reflecting lots of status effects on you, which is good fun. Critical AP. This user gains one HP each time they land a critical hit. Again, these are like some quite like fun kind of counter tactical moves that you can use to kind of uh, build the status effects in the, in the right moment, you know, build up some AP at certain points. Um, someone asked, does that mean the shop refreshes? Uh, yeah. The uh, merchants over here, every day, they uh, cycle to a whole new selection of stickers. Oh, they actually um, cycle their stickers. That's so, you know, pretty interesting. Don't, there's nothing really you want that day. You can kind of come back and check the next day. Um, we could go up the north way to the... Uh... Oh. 
<laughs> he got stuck. Oh, oh, that's cool. You can go on the roof of the house. That's pretty cool. Oh, I'm getting a phone call. Think about it. can actually get into the park uh, a few different ways and this is um, the one of the ways you can get it uh, plum bomb or two is the demo updated what can i do after i be so no they like haven't updated the demo no this is just a preview um if we go this way we kind of come back to the original entrance and voila this is where we are in relation to where we were if they do put out another another update to the demo you, you know i'll be on that <laughs> like give that all to me you know and you may also have noticed uh, if you have a keen eye that the minimap is much bigger than it was in the demo i think that's one of the things um the kind of pieces of feedback we got was that the minimap isn't super useful um in terms of how big it was so we made it a little bit bigger looks like there's a switch so behind that rock uh, i think that's nice uh, there is a hidden switch behind this rock I'm yeah sure Maybe I'm making it too obvious where all the secret things are. Can you imagine actually lifting up a rock that big? That thing's got to weigh like 500 pounds. <laughs> oh no. I know you're. Oh, it's in the ocean. It's in the ocean now. Oh, the light. That's true, yeah. I throw this in here. I just don't know if there's enough traction here. Steady. Steady. Uh, yes! Yeah, you did. <laughs> that's cool that you can do stuff like okay, that. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> you know, my bridge. I quite like that the um, physics in the game allow you to do really dumb stuff. Yeah, I was about to say the physics in this game are really nice. Like, the attention to detail, like that bridge hitting the rock. Like, that's a nice, because a lot of games, if that were to happen, the bridge would just go through the rock. You, you know what I mean? Like, like that's typical uh, from game design, to, you know, right? But they actually took the time to actually, like, you know, if this bridge slaps a rock, the rock's actually going to fly. That's cool. What are your thoughts on Pokemon SV? It was all right. Like, okay. I have a lot of mixed opinions on it. It's infrastructure. Um, walls, running water. Like I had fun playing it, but I definitely felt like it was you know, lacking in a lot of side content. Like uh, the, a the lot Town of the gym leaders were super Wallace. immemorable, but not Town's memorable. Same with the Elite Four. Uh, except, world. except, uh, the, <laughs> except, say, what's his face with the uh, <laughs> with the like suit? He's he's the well. only good one, Larry. But I I don't know. I I felt like a lot of aspects to the game needed work. It's just it's just another example of Game Freak just putting out the game too early. The art style is definitely different. The the only reason I say sometimes I compare it to hey, Lumintel is because they're both 2.5D, but they don't look the same. Monster Transformer. Monster Battler. They give similar vibes, I guess, but that's just because they're 2.5D. But yeah, Lumintel's uh, graphics are different. Lumintel's graphics are less pixely, if uh, that makes sense. Can you jump on something your friend is carrying? I don't think you can. That might have been too powerful, I'm trying to think. You might have disabled that because it's like too broken. Yeah, probably disabled that. <laughs> but you can use it like in conjunction with each other. Yeah, when a fire, when a plastic type gets hit by a, a fire move, it becomes a poison type. That's what happened to traffic crab here. Maybe I'll switch. Let's go. Don't know. More aggressive. I'm mixed on a lot of the new Pokemon. Like I like some of them, but I really don't like a lot of them. Like I, I, I think Annihilate got a really cool. Like that's a really cool design, but then like a lot of them I also didn't like. Five tech talks. Targets can burn excess poison left over from poison type attacks as fuel, empowering them. Characters with AP boost gain one extra AP each round. So poison on fire um, buffs your fire user. Wallet. Oh, that's a person? I missed that. Cabra. Oh, so I guess they do have trainer battles in this game. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree with that. It was cool to have normal evolutions. I mean, Dunsparce, uh, uh, screw you guys <laughs> for that. <laughs> screw everybody. 
for Dunsparce. All right, Dunsparce, my boy, got got the shaft. But um, yeah, some of them are pretty cool. That's alright. Got some types. Building up. That's true. Classic. Uh, yeah. Fusion meter is full, but we might not need to use it. And they're defeated. Said there are like you know uh, opponent like human opponents in the game, um, and the fights with them tend to you know have more tactics involved, and also they have multiple tapes, so it's a bit more of an endurance. Um, yeah, that's cool. Inside. That means there could be human bad guys, which I, I'm assuming would be the vampire people, but. You know, whenever it comes to new Pokemon evolutions, I've basically come to the point where it's like, literally. Fan art is just always going to be better than the new Pokemon. Like, whenever we get an evolution, it's always not as good as the fan art. Like, have you seen the Dunsparce fan evolution fan art? It looks dope. Well, what do you think of this outpost? This place was abandoned for the longest time. With a bit of work, we turned it into quite a rough spot for the weary travelers. What do you do here? I'd like to tell you we defend the people of New World from a relentless horde of monsters, <laughs> but most of the time we're doing odd jobs for the community. It's really not that exciting. Kaylee can attest to that, as one of our more recent recruits. Oh. Well, Discord and I fought an Archangel. Uh, is that so? We'll have to look into this. Archangels. We're pretty sure Archangels exist, but our interactions with them have been fleeting. Well. Maybe you should find more. I well, think Discord should, should apply to be a ranger. Beyonce, I think Discord should apply to become a ranger. Huh? Well, what do you think, Discord? Great name we picked there. <laughs> do you <laughs> want to apply to join the rangers? Uh, what do I have to do? Trainees are tasked with meeting up with each with the, each of the ranger captains here in New Wirral and overcoming their challenges. <laughs> Since you're such a hotshot hot monster, monster in combat, combat I'm, pretty I'm pretty sure, sure the, the captains, captains are going to want to test your fighting abilities. Okay. Ranger captains? Who are these ranger captains? You really are new here. Trainees who pass the trial become full-time rangers like Kaylee. Rangers have a lot of responsibilities, but nothing that would put them in significant danger. The captains, like myself, run the whole operation. We try to maintain the community in Harbour Town, and the most dangerous situations fall on us to resolve. I mean, on one so hand, it's harder and harder to create new Pokemon okay. without stepping. I understand, step I, I understand that. that, but like, if you look at a lot of fake Mon designs, like yeah, a lot of them are cooler these. than the actual Pokemon designs. <laughs> I feel like there are a lot of ideas. It's just I, I don't know what it is. Like, I think Pokemon used to have like a sort of identity for the first like maybe four generations, and Gen Five have a lot of my favorite Pokemon. But that's where I also started. They started to kind of like deviate from that, and I think from there that we've gotten like has a mix of like really cool Pokemon and like really nasty looking Pokemon. You know what I mean? You hear that Skeledurge's design is based on a bird's eye view from a stadium? Never heard of that, no. If they're gonna do Gen 5 like they did in BDSP, they might as well just not bother. I'd rather them not make them. Anyway, I gotta head back into town. If you need me, come swing by the headquarters. The building with half a ship wedge on top of it? You can't miss it. And off she goes. Alright, now you yeah, can explore. Yeah, so basically, um... Where do I have it? Oh yeah, and also there's a rumor system here. But we'll talk about that in a moment. Um, this is kind of one of our quests. We got the, uh... Go to the quest log. Take me on. Train with each of the ranger captains to become a ranger. Um... They're kind of like, you know, unique combat challenge uh, NPCs. You find Are these kind of like world. gym leaders, uh, sort of? I may have run into one briefly earlier, if you remember. There's like 12 of them, um, like, scattered around. Yeah, get some free wood. Oh, some fish. Just stealing from their house. Okay. I love, I, that, that's something I always love about <laughs> video games. You can just rob people. Um, Are we not going to, is nobody going to mention the fact that someone's right. just, like, passed out so, <laughs> on the bed? Anywhere else we want to go? Everyone's else is awake, and that person just passed right out. Um, we could take that. Oh, he jumped up. That was cool. The Dominoth literally jumped up the cliff to attack them. Oh, we could be late. Yeah, it's just a 
single target. Um, no, no, no. The right. side. Just what we were looking for. Someone to beat to prove our worth to the Rangers. Yeah, there's a lot of rivals out here. Yeah, That's cool. Work. I, I like that they added that. Who's boss. One thing I noticed is there there are quite a few monster taming games that uh, don't include trainer battles of any kind. So it's nice to see that some of them do. Uh, I'm trying to think now cause, because now that I say that, like the, the ones, the main ones, they do. But like there are a few that, that don't. I'm trying to think. Like um, at least the trainer battles aren't abundant. Like for example, Monster Sanctuary, they do have the keeper duels, I guess. But... They're far less abundant than like the wild uh, fights, and um, there are a lot of games no. like that. I'd have to go through the list now. Now I can't think. Of, once I said that, I can't think of any off the top of my head. <laughs> I wish the formula got a full scramble, like many games start to feel to me like the same. To be honest, I never had an issue with like the original Pokemon. For like, like, like I've never had an issue with like the pixel art Pokemon formula at all. A lot of people say they got tired of it, but like for me, it was just like they started putting less content into the games after, after like starting with Gen Six. Like that's what started bugging me. Otherwise, like I always liked the Pokemon, the Pokemon formula. It never really bugged me. Dandelion got Snooze Ball. That's quite a good as well. Bomb Bomb got Hot Potato. Places a bomb on the target that will explode if not immediately passed on by melee contact. Deliciously annoying move to use, or at least if it's used on you. Who am I kidding? I'm not good enough for the Rangers. <laughs> yeah, Knocked over. Which way are we heading? How well do you um, think the new SMT will run on a Switch Lite? I have no clue. Sorry, I'm not sure. Right SMT5 ran okay on the Switch. Um, I don't know how it would be on the Lite, though. Which we could probably do by coming around here. Hope there's a uh, spring heel about to annoy. <laughs> It'll run better than Pokemon. That's for sure. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we're a bit uh, worse for wear. Let's find some wood. Hmm. Not all came to we thought. Well, God, right? I wouldn't mind them going back to 2D. Yeah, same, man. already wounded her when we found her. Even in her weakened state, she seems so dangerous. Whoever wounded her must have been absolutely savage. I guess that makes sense. It makes us feel like us humans are pretty puny in comparison. Broken tapes have been repaired. Digimon Survive didn't have trainer battles. Yeah, th th there's a quite a few games that don't. Yeah. And it's daytime. Very nice. I mean, Digimon doesn't really need it since a Digimon could talk anyway. <laughs> it's up to you. Go on without me. I wanna know what happens if they get separated too far. Oh. Oh, the new boy. Hoylake was babbling all about you when he came by to pick up some parts in my shop. Have you met him? He's the worst. Huh. You know he's not even a real scientist? Before he landed on the new world, he was a data analyst. He was a data analyst, analyst. stop. Just tell him that only wearing t shirts and say, I love science is not a personality. I'm Meredith. Anyway, I'm Meredith. Enjoy being trapped in this rock forever with the rest of us until you die. Oh, Meredith seems like she's not like the other girls, guys. There's like what? Wearing an upside down happy face isn't a personality either, lady. <laughs> anyway, I just needed a breath of fresh air. Digimon Survive was sick, though. I wouldn't. Uh, it, I didn't do the virus ending yet. Yeah, Digimon Survive is great. Game looks great until the gameplay begins. What do you mean? The gameplay's good. Are, are you just one of those people that don't like turn based combat? It's going to, is this going to phone too? Uh, I'm guessing you're asking if this is going to come out on mobile. Not to my knowledge. It's always been my dream to join the Rangers. I can't let that dream end now. Uh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's Star Degrade. Oh, it's a flashlight. Um, I feel like sleep is only going to empower it.
Cause like the gameplay in this game is very uh is very unique. Is it a paid game? Yeah. I, I think it's coming to Game Pass though. I want to say it's coming to Game Pass. So if you have Game Pass, you can play it. I can I can't tell if I like the battles. Uh, we'll start at the party member gets oh, caught. Yeah. I can't tell if I like that battles will start if the party member gets caught. What, what do you mean? Well, I forgot it also had a co-op. Damn, that's nice. Yeah, man. So astral types are kind of a tricky one. They're, you know, if you hit them with uh, earth, fire, water, or air, they actually like get empowered. But then, you know, impure elements like plastic can uh, disrupt them. It's now hibernating, and it can heal turn. Heal each turn at no sleep. Yeah, there's gonna be there's gonna be uh something at the direct from Cassette Beasts too, so you know a little bit of fun stuff. It looked like uh, this battle sta started because the NPC saw Kayle and not the player. I was Oh, oh, uh well no, because they're they're playing co op, that's why. That's because they're playing in co op mode. That's probably why. Like Kayla, Kayla or Kayla, or Kayla. I don't know how the hell to say her name. She's being controlled by a uh, player too. Yeah. What's that's what a new Digimon must be to be honest. A more Pokemon like adventure thing. Yeah, like a Digimon story game where you like an RPG basically is what you're saying. Like like, like I'm down for that too. Like a collection based RPG. Doesn't have to. It doesn't even have to play like Pokemon. It could just play like. Uh, Digimon, uh, the Digimon Adventure PSP game I thought had pretty good, um, had it had it pretty good. Like you had the overworld encounters, you had the um, the uh, like the turn-based battles that are kind of like Cyber Sleuth. Like I think they should just go with that. Uh, the only thing about that game is they have a chapter selection, which they could do if they wanted to, or they could just make like it make it more like just have a, a world to explore as well. It, it's Kaylee, okay. Yeah, cause, cause the last part of her name looks like it's it's pronounced Lay, right? But Kaylee, that makes sense. Why can't you just be Kaylee with with L E E at the end, man? Why you gotta make it difficult, Kaylee? Okay, I think we're we're still in a good position. For the, uh, next fight. Yeah, I I love the pixel art in this game. I, I honestly think 3D is overhyped. A lot of indie 3Ds don't look that good anyway. Like, like I find the pix. I, I find you if you were to compare the average fire. indie pixel art versus the average indie challenge. 3D, like in the genre, right, the pixel art games tend to look better, in my opinion. Let's go. English is stupid sometimes. Yes, that is very true. You're gonna need to be tough if you want. Like Wallace. Wallace is spelt Wallace. Stop this. Okay, let's go. <laughs> All right, then. Captain Wallace. Hey, what's up? Good start. What's up, five as? Pixel art uh, feels cleaner to me, less clutter. Yeah, like, and that's the thing. Like, the thing about 3D is you have there's a, a very large, uh, like, the uncanny valley is a very large valley. Okay, like, there's so many like AAA 3D games, and that's become the standard. When you see a game that's 3D but it looks like it's from a GameCube, I personally don't mind, but it, it to me it doesn't look as good as like a, as like a pixel art game. Let's try hot potato. So people hate turn-based gameplay because, in their opinion, it's out of date. Well, I I think that's I think that's a that, that opinion is kind of kind of dumb. That's like saying uh, I I like I like playing no, I football because uh, and chess is out of date. Like they're just two different different things. Like they're just different. Like. Turn-based combat exercises a different part of your brain than real-time combat. Like, they're just completely oh, different. Okay. This okay. isn't going too well. <laughs> okay. Like, Wait. playing Call of Duty is very different than playing uh, a turn-based game. You know you, you know what I mean? Like, like they're just completely different. One's not better than the other. One's not uh, less dated than the other. Because if you really want to get into it, like Mari Donkey Kong on the arcade, that's real-time combat, right? And that's old. <laughs> like one's not more outdated than the other. Right, I mean, if you want to call it combat, Online. but you know what I mean. Like real time, Online. like like playing a game in real, like real time versus turn based. They're just different genres. They're not. One's not more dated than the other. 
That sounds like a good plan. That sounds pretty chaotic. In my yeah, in my opinion, it's actually better because a lot because real time combat's really hard to achieve for a monster taming game. Um, unless it's something like uh, like fine. like uh, Dragon Quest it. Treasures, where it's like your monsters are fighting with yeah, AI. Because swapping between monsters is very difficult. Like I I found so far the the real time games I've played, they do feel a little bit like a little bit clunky. Uh, I miss turn-based combat in Final yeah. Fantasy. I haven't been able to enjoy the new ones as much as the older ones. Yeah, real-time combat yeah. came first, ironically. Yeah, I mean, if you want to get technical about it, like Street Fighter, that's real-time combat, right? Much more. Like they didn't, they didn't make Final Fantasy turn-based combat because they were like, oh, it has to be turn-based combat. Like, like they probably just did it because they thought it was cool or whatever. <laughs> We're gonna hit first because we're fusing so probably faster. So I actually don't think that Hot Potato will get us out of this one. I think real time uh, game combat yeah, could work if they did. Z I've never played the new Xenoblade games. I, I probably should though. We still have the okay. Like so real time is fine. I'm not saying it's worse. I'm just like, I have a preference for turn based, but like I'm I'm definitely down for real time games. But I, I just hate the the idea that turn based is just bad because it's old or something. Because, like, turn-based combat's existed, like, just as long as, as real-time combat. Again, it's like, it's, it's like saying, it's like saying uh, board games are outdated. You should play tennis instead. It's like, it's just, it's just different. Like, those are two different things. Have we had any news on Doki V? No. I was, I was honestly hoping my video would have, like, pushed them a little bit. Okay. But it didn't. Buy some time. Makes sense from a monster taming perspective. <laughs> it's giving them orders, which feels great with turn-based combat. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, fusion isn't like a one-way ticket out. I love the Lego wall. Lego yeah. wall's OP. <clears throat> I like Pokemon, but I miss the old uh, pixel art of Pokemon. Yeah, uh, I felt like Gen 5 okay. was like top-tier pixel art for Pokemon. I also really like Gen 3. Mm -hmm. Gen 3 and 5 for me were the two best gens for their pixel art. I mean, Pokemon could have even went the Nexomon route, where it's not really pixel art. They're still models, but they're like 2D. Yeah, that would have that. looked really nice. Maybe the support grab. Yeah, for me, oh, I think Gen okay. 5 has the best uh, Pokemon yeah, pixel art, like for the Pokemon. And then Gen 3, in my opinion, has the best overworld pixel art. Please give me a shout out now, please. No! What will the shout out do for you, my friend? Will it give you dopamine? Shout out to Mehendi Teacher, then. There you go. <laughs> Okay, need to heal. We've got two heals left. Any advice in chat as uh, you know, if you want to throw some ideas on this, how we should approach this? Oh no, okay. Yeah. So there's a move is it just called throw? Is it yeah, it's yeah, it's just called throw, where you can actually um chuck your walls instead of it just being destroyed Thanks, the end bro. Of the turn, you There you go, man. Take that dopamine. Style. Don't spend it all in one place. Um, Can I ask yeah. for your it's best game reliable. of this year that you've played? Oh god, there's been that so many. I, I don't know if I could if, if I could pick one. A very, very low of okay, he's got water wall. Obviously I had a lot of fun with Coromon. My only complaint was like the end game. I felt uh the final boss could have used like like that end section could have used work. But Coromon was great. Um I honestly really enjoyed Digimon Survive. I enjoyed Pokemon Legends a lot too. I, a lot of people with Pokemon Legends and Scarlet and Violet are trying to say they're like the best Pokemon games. Personally, I disagree, but I had a, a lot of fun with Legends this year. Um, I'd have to look at the list of games that came out this year. I made a tier list video actually, so you could probably take a look at that and that'll kind of give you an idea. I'm gonna make a 2023 tier list too for like upcoming games. So look forward to that. After the Direct, uh, I, I also have a retrospective that I usually work on at the end of the year and then a on upcoming games for January 1st. But like between that time, the videos are gonna be pretty yeah, chill. Cause uh, I wanna spend Christmas with the fam. So we're gonna have like a couple chill videos, like a, an article review, 
um, a, a tier list video, stuff like that. The, the Let's Plays will keep coming out, but between like oh, Christmas and like the 29th, it's probably going to be mostly some unscripted stuff. Coromont Endgame should focus more on PvE. Yeah, you know, um, this is something I actually want to make a video about. Because, like, I didn't really think about this much when I first started um, covering the genre. I used to always think, like, yeah, more games should have PvP. Nexomon should have PvP. Um, you know, these games. But now that, it, like, like now that I, we've actually seen a lot of these games do PvP, like the Kindred Fates Alpha, like Coromon, um, one thing I've noticed, like Hubers, for example, one thing I've noticed is, like, these indie games don't have a large enough player base to actually like nice are you monster sanctuary monster crown Ooh. too these games don't have a large enough player base to actually like warrant work like spending so much time on <laughs> pvp in my opinion like i understand why the nexomon devs didn't include it in extinction because people would have played it oh, for five minutes and then dropped it i think pvp is something that people want but they don't actually want you know what i mean like they ah, want it to be there but they don't actually want to use it because that's like me like i was like oh yeah these games should have pvp but it, I, I never used it like never used it at all so like unless it's like a game like temtem where it's like an mmo and they have like like people make jokes about temtem's player base being small but like it's active player base is a lot bigger than a lot of the single player games right unless it's a game like that like i don't feel like pvp is really that necessary I think they they're better off focusing on single player content to be yeah, honest. Stamp on our card from Wallace. Uh, hi, I'd wonder if you'll do a live about uh, the new What's Christmas the event on Doodle World. Maybe oh, I'm not 100% sure. I, I might. Uh, probably um, not, just because I'm really busy. I basically have everything scheduled out till the end of the year, and I'm I'm like booked up. I promised with the cassette beast thing because there's also the Christmas event for Temtem. There's also a Christmas event for Lumion Legacy. There's also I think Kill Like Kingdom has like just so many Christmas events. I'm not gonna be able to do them all. Um, but are they done? Oh no no we still got time on this. We can probably be wrapping up soon. We can probably get back to the town hall and see what. But we'll see. I got a lot of stuff to do. This direct is a lot. It's a lot of work. I'm hoping it turns out okay. Like I'm editing it all myself, so I'm hoping it turns out okay. Like, like, like you guys enjoy it, uh, and definitely like after the direct is out, like feedback is like super important to me. So you guys let me know if you enjoyed it or whatever, and uh, yeah. So you don't think something uh, similar to raids and Pokemon wouldn't work well for something like Cormon? Honestly, I don't think so. Maybe I, I was thinking I was talking about PvP though. I wasn't talking about like multiplayer features. Multiplayer features could be good. Uh, as long as they don't take like a huge amount of extra development time that's something that would be an interesting idea like honestly i don't really like pokemon raids that much but if they had some sort of like multiplayer pve content that could be soloed if you're good that could be interesting but i don't think it would be that active after like let's say a year of the game being out do they have any more projects or plans for coromon yeah that they're they're uh, still working on mobile launch and stuff like that but uh they are going to make a coromon too Yeah, uh, Raffle brings up a good uh, point. Nexomon 1 had PvP, but nobody really used it, and then it was expensive to maintain. Exactly. The thing I dislike about competitive and monster taming games is that you have to use the meta moves instead of those you like most of the time if you want to succeed. I mean, that that's true with, like, PvP in any game. Like, you have to play a certain way in, like, Call of Duty if you want to be good at it, right? You have to use the best guns. You have to use the best movement tactics and stuff like that. Um... In short, sweetie. I just feel like a lot of people would rather play on Pokemon Showdown than, um, let's say, you know, grind grind it out in in any of the monster taming games, which is unfortunate. But it just it has more of a player base, right? Yeah, raids could be really cool. I I, I feel like that's one thing that would have been good for a real time combat game, right? Like like big boss battles. Yes. We're both in the same room. Um, so, you know, we could up upgrade the, um, the town. But yeah, I definitely changed my stance on multiplayer. Like, I feel like, like a lot of these games, they could do well with, like, co-op or something like that, but I don't think they need, like, a, a whole PvP scene. Our, uh, cassette player itself. What's your favorite Coromon? Uh, 
I really like Ecliptor. I really like Toravolt. Uh, I really like Megalobite. Those are a few. Ecliptor has got to be got to be perfect. So there's a lot of you know thinking about where you're gonna spend your resources. What kind of thing? Do you think some developers uh, would make a Skylander like Monte Game? I never played Skylanders actually. My brother-in-law did when he was a kid, but I'm like 10 years older than him. Um, but I remember when that was popular. I never played it though. I, I just remember being angry at it for what they did to Spyro. <laughs> Speaking of Spyro, what are these guys doing? Where's Spyro 4, man? They're making all these crash games. Where's Spyro 4, bro? I am Professor Percival Hoyleg, intrepid investigator into the unknown. The unknown investigator. Is this your Meredith he's talking about earlier? Yes. Indeed. <laughs> he's just hanging out on the, the file cabinet. Ruined in this curious realm. Falls upon his steadfast and rational mind to make sense of the chaos that surrounds us. I am talking of the scientific method. You must observe, observe, analyze, and form conclusions. Oh, you, you, you can tell the devs are from the uh, UK by how they spell analyze. Because in Canada, we, we spell it the same with the S. Catalog, uh, catalog them, then the, unknown would cease the game is up there with Pal World for monster taming Say, games I'm most excited about. Like yeah, Pal World's another good example task. of a game that should have multiplayer, in right? Helping me identify some monsters? Sure. Excellent. Excellent. Wonderful. I have some descriptions of monsters I've sourced from Harbor Town's populace. Spyro and became Spike from My Little Pony. I don't know anything about My Little Pony, so. <laughs> the first account I have is a fanged creature perched on a skull, spotted in the park. Here are some blank tapes to assist you in your research. Come on by when you've recorded this nice little catalog. It. Happy hunting, my dear uh, eager assistant. And Hear me out, monster taming monster. formula, but instead of monsters, uh, sentient weapons. Today, uh, oh, um, essentials. But essentially, the weapons the, change uh, into monsters and vice versa. To hunt down certain monsters. Hear me out, Metabots. Uh, in the West. Hear me out, man. Uh, Yokai Watch Four on yeah. the Switch in the West. So, there is a uh, system with a, called Rumors, essentially, where you know this is an open world game. There's a lot of stuff to see. Um, you might not always know where to go next or what to Hear do. me out, man. Dragon um, so Quest Monsters in the West. Like the regular town <laughs> will um, pop up with an icon like this, and you can chat to them, and they'll give you essentially a tip off of something that you haven't seen or done before that you could, you know. Yeah, like PvP is cool, well. but the, the game just has to have the player base for it. So, like, maybe it would be good as, like, post launch updates yeah. if they end up like just knocking it out the door you know uh, like knocking sorry knocking it out of the park like if a game like is way more successful than i expected then add pvp but I, i'm not i'm not that sold on pvp anymore just because like unless the game's gonna be like a full pvp game so it's i just noticed that a lot of these games have issues with like maintaining player bases for stuff like that because they're single player games right PvP is such a small percentage of the community. I guess that they were disappointed that Spyro Reignited Trilogy only sold 1 million compared to Crash 10 million. I know, but come on, man. I want some Spyro. It only sold a million? I'm surprised. Crash sold 10? Maybe because Crash was like the first one of the two. I know Crash has always been like more successful than Spyro, but like... Spyro's better. I don't care what you say. a whole lot in a small amount of time. I found a new um, face in the live chat. Is there cool. any like, final questions <laughs> people have? Uh, but yeah, more metabots or some zoids. Chat. Um, we can do, there's a gym training we can do if we buy a gym pass. I haven't got a gym pass yet. Lumion Legacy and Lampion Part 2. When that comes out, I'll, I'll, I'll uh, continue the Lumion Let's Play from there. I still need to continue the Doodle one. I have someone like harassing me on Twitter about my Doodle World Let's Play. Like, boys, so new games came out that, that, that are a little more pressing um, for me. I'm not sure. Hopefully, uh, we'll have a good time for it at some point. But, you know, we're also working hard on the game. So it's, you know, a tricky balance between, you know, showing off the game and then... Yeah, co-op's fun, man. Co-op's uh, cool. I usually have to do my Let's Plays on my own because it's hard to meet up with people for stuff like that. But um, it's definitely it's something okay. cool to have. Like I said, when my kids are older, it'd be nice to like, 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 not on stream or anything, but like, it'd be nice for me to uh, like play more games with them. 
I I'm definitely, uh, like, I don't have Mario don't Kart on Switch anymore, scrolls. but I'm definitely going to buy it again. Maybe Mario Kart yeah. 9 will be out by Just then. <laughs> Probably not. But uh, I, I want to get Mario Kart yeah, on uh, Switch again like for when my kids are a little bit older. Because I feel like that's a game that that's like really good, like intro hey, level game for kids. Living Legacy yeah. like mid Legacy because of uh, overestimating their power in developing the game. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I whenever their update comes out, it comes out. I'm not that impatient to be honest. I find a lot of the Roblox community are like extremely, like impatient with updates and like like don't get me wrong i understand the context behind lumian legacy but like i saw someone complaining that doodle world doesn't update fast enough and i'm like they got something like every week in the news segment like i don't know what you guys mean like they always got stuff going on hang on if i jump around here i can break that crate oh okay ready for this pro gaming move <laughs> i like that you can go on the roofs Oh, oh, that's cool. Okay. Physics for the win. Lumion Legacy and Temtem both have similar concurred player number. Yeah, I believe it. I'm surprised Lumion's not higher. Lumion was higher for the longest time. Look, 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 they're just destroying everything. <laughs> they're menaces. What are they doing? <laughs> What is this? Um, Why is this part of the stream? <laughs> yeah, this is a very demolishable cafe. Rascals, yeah. I wish Pokemon games were on PC uh, as Steam always, as well, but uh, man, yeah, that, that's never gonna happen. Also, letting me destroy Xbox items, giving background stuff is yeah, I like it. Don't let them keep going. We love the chaos. Exactly. It's fine. Yeah, if you <laughs> like the look of the game and you haven't wish listed it on Steam already, please do because yeah, that's always uh, a nice thing to do for the uh, tired game developers in your life. Um, and yeah, if you <laughs> I love the physics. The game, you want to see more? You can follow us on uh, Twitter. You can <laughs> you know be a part of the Discord. Kind of we post updates here as well, um, as well as doing you know occasionally having. Uh, the bot. This is Cassette Beast like gameplay. Uh, the bot of this will be going up on YouTube afterwards as well. So don't worry if you missed a bit of it. Um, anything else I forgot to cover there, Tom? I think that's everything. I think we're doing a good job of covering everything. Yeah, so we're it looks like they're pretty today. much done. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm pretty excited about this much, game. Because we know people will want to, uh, you know, play this all this? themselves. But also there's a lot of cool stuff to show. Oh, they got some more uh, stuff they're doing. All right, we'll, you know, we'll let it keep playing while we talk. Uh, the game looks interesting. Yeah, man, it's looking pretty good. Uh, this is one of my top. I'm I'm probably personally a little bit more excited for this than than even Power World, just because this is like my type of game. But I'm also really excited for Power World too. Uh, did they mention anything about difficulty settings in the game? That's a good question. I don't know. That's a great question. I, they didn't say anything so far, as far as I remember. Yeah, yeah. So you can. But if they do, uh, I'll definitely mention it at some point. Yeah, as far as I know, there isn't, but there there might be. I'm not sure. Um, some okay. Nintendo slash Koi Tecmo co-owned games are releasing on Steam. Oh, you're talking about yeah, but but they would never do that for like a first-party Nintendo game. Uh, same to be honest, we love that pixel-based uh, old-school mon like games. Yo, okay, th this is something actually. I was gonna make a video uh, showcasing question, World of Final Fantasy. I tried to start up World of Final Fantasy and it just for? doesn't start. So, like like I own it on Steam, and it, the game just does not start up. Has anybody ever had that issue before? Because like it, 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 it was kind of annoying. I spent like an hour trying to make it start, and it just wouldn't start. I was pretty cheesed. Um, uh, there is leveling difficulty so, you know, in the demo, and a, and also AI like difficulty. It goes uh, you know, from way under level to literally scaling to above you at all kind of times, and the most to stupid AI ever to literally you know, Skynet. Oh, really? I, I haven't even checked out those settings. Like, well, there you go, uh, like Paten Pat Pat 93. I love how they're just like jumping around. Those, you'll be saying things like, okay... For this area, do you think something do you think something like the wait do you then, like, think so you know, something like the randomizer next one for this game not sure okay 
we need a monster that fits this particular area or this yeah windows location. update sometimes breaks I'm the game yeah that's, that's so annoying well, like like i can't like, even you know, play world of final fantasy now mean monsters we need a cute monster i just refunded world of final fantasy for that reason yeah like like what the heck like like i might refund it and then uh well i got it for so cheap anyway but i might refund it and then try to get it on like switch or something no enough monsters for a whole game uh, we have a few guest monsters around as well so maybe uh, they'll fix it. If a bunch of people are dealing with that, maybe they'll fix it. I'll make a video about it soon. Not 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 about about the crash, but like about the game when it comes out. That's yeah, not a video. That's just me complaining. Most interesting part of the project. <laughs> that's annoying. Ways, and also one of the tough spots. Um, I tried to make it so there's like kind of there's not too much of a focus on one like kind of category of monsters. You know, if you like cute monsters, if you like you know spooky monsters or but yeah i was dealing with that um what other videos uh, do i have planned i can give you guys a little sneak peek of what's to come or more abstract ones um so hopefully there's a monster design and then i and then i gotta go because uh apparently i have a shipment coming in today uh and i gotta make cool. sure i don't miss I the because uh, i'm in like the basement wrap up there right now um, any um what do i have coming out today let's check we'll, we'll be on the Discord, give you guys some teasers in the uh Cassette chat and um we'll see you guys next time uh have a great day or evening Thanks for joining us, everyone. Yeah. Upload schedule. All right. Take care. I don't know what kind of up next bullcrap it's going to give me because I'm actually not logged in. <laughs> it's going to be like up next. Uh, oh, okay. Developer gameplay one. Makes sense. Yeah, so I have, um, well, after the Direct, see, I can't spoil that stuff because I have some videos. So after the Direct, I have some videos going over some of the reveals from the Direct, kind of like delineating a little bit further into them. So I'm excited for that stuff, but... Uh, up leading up to the direct I have a so the Kasepi stream was today I have an OP early video for Dragon Quest Treasures and I have a tips and tricks video the next day the direct is on Friday then after the direct I have a few uh I have a video the next day talking about something I'm really hyped about that happens in the direct then on the on Christmas I have a Mon, a Mon article just to sort of you know keep take it easy I want to have my Dragon Quest Treasures full review out by the end of the year then uh, around Boxing Day time, I'll have like the these games are all on sale video that I do every couple uh, like two or three times a year. Then um, I, I and then towards the end of the year, I have like the tier list, the retrospective, and then the what's what to expect from the next year type videos. I think World of Final Fantasy is stable on Switch, but I'm not sure. I'll just wait till they fix it. To be honest, it's not a big deal. Like like I was planning on having that video come out in a couple days because I, I really like this Let's Try series we're doing where I can just like play an hour of a new game and not have to like fully commit 30 episodes to it. Cause that was something that was keeping me from trying a lot of older games. So I can kind of gauge your guys feedback. If you really like something then I'll continue it. If not, then I won't. If I really like something, I'll continue it too. So like, I, I like that, that idea that I can just like, you know, dip my toes into different games without having to hundred percent commit. Cause it's hard to, to, to do make a 30 episode let's play for every single game I play, especially when I'm putting out daily uploads besides that and then when it comes to older games i'm not like i'd be let's playing these games for like 30 episodes but it's not like i'm making guides for them so like all like 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 it's it's completely separate from my content at least with like dragon quest treasures if we have like a 30 episode let's play while i'm playing the game i'm actually using that to make more content from the game so it's, it's kind of like it compounds together whereas like if i'm doing something for a game that that, that i'm not making other content for then I get kind of like I'm I'm playing that game. Then I also have to play a different game at the same time. So it it's it, it like exponentially increases the amount of uh, time I need. And unfortunately, I don't do this full time, so I <laughs> I don't have enough. Uh, hey Ed, hey, what's up, Barry? Can you do a let's try on Siren Fate? Yeah, I I wanted to a while ago, but I never ended up doing it. But yeah, I definitely will. Um, at some point, I also wanted to do one for the uh, Anode Heart demo. That's one that I want to do soon. Uh, I have a whole list of them. I I, I need to, I, I need to do more. I, I really enjoy doing that stuff with you guys. And, you know, uploading every day, the Let's Tries definitely help to kind of like give me space in between the more edited videos too. So it ends up working out well. Uh, comments on Steam say that you need to start it in admin mode. I don't even know how the hell to do that, but I'll try. Uh, I looked it up. That's an ex issue that's existed for over five months and Square Enix hasn't done anything to fix it. Oh my God. Man, maybe I should just make a video about that. <laughs> like, may, may, if that's been an issue for five months. Wait, who said that? That was Xavier. Xavier, you're in the Discord, right? What's your Discord username? 
if you could send me where where you got that information i might actually be able to make a video and it might actually i i don't want to make any promises because it's not like I, i'm not freaking uh i'm not moist critical but maybe maybe if i make a video about it it could kind of push them a little bit to to fix it because people will see it and be like what the heck like this isn't acceptable because if the game has not been able to start for five months like that's absolutely unacceptable this gym is going to be so hard average gym leader ed fan co commenter hey i mean i mean my gym is always hard if you catch my drift <laughs> uh it would also be cool if you tried old gen pokemon game oh yeah i, I, I could do stuff like that i, I mean I, i've played every gen like so many times at this point I'm pretty, I'm pretty good in finding a fix. Oh, I was just going to make a video complaining about it, but I will find, I will find, uh, uh I, I, if you have a fix for it, then, then I'll, pro I'll probably include that. Cause I like to not just complain in my videos. I like to also offer solutions. Uh, I don't know if you guys notice that whenever I rant about something, I always have like an idea of how I think it would be better. Cause just complaining and not offering any constructive criticism is kind of sus. But, uh, yeah, if I can find, if we can find a way to, to make it work i'll definitely make a video on that but i will i will kind of lean into them because that's unacceptable five months you can't play a game that you bought like that's ridiculous i don't care how, how many games square enix has you can't be doing that bro uh it would uh, okay you already said that yeah dm later i'd gotcha barry barry's my boy anyways guys i'm gonna call the stream from here i appreciate y'all coming out uh look forward to cassette beast man go check out their steam page and uh yeah Stay sexy and uh, peace out.